So I'm thinking pulley tensioner next. That'll be one, two, three, three, and three, maybe four. One, two, three. Three 15 millimeter bolts for the pulley tensioner. Coming off next. Okay, pulley tensioner. Right there in the water pump. So the last thing I did was the belt tensioner thing. Now I'm going after, after, now I'm going after the thermostat housing for the water pump. Water pump, thermostat housing, two 10 millimeter bolts. Thermostat housing, done, off, got a new one of those. All right, time for some hoses. Alrighty, not wanting to get careless, I thought maybe this would take a, uh, just take another look here. This is the radiator reservoir going down and snaking up and going into the water pump in the front. It says engine up and it branches off right there. Looks like it's going into the heater core or the heater thing, whatever it's called. So let's see here. It looks like I got a, oh, okay, I got two of them. I got one must be a any and one must be an Audi. So they are going right there. Kidoki. That those are our next two victims. Alright, it's a new day. Uh actually went uh, I think today's Friday. I actually went and got rid of all the fluids. So all those are empty now. Bought a new one. Got any one of those little doo jigs. All right, so today, water pump removal day. So that's what's next. That's kind of where we're at. Kind of give you a look at everything here. All those are disconnected. Top radiator is disconnected. Bottom radiator is disconnected. I think everything is disconnected from the water pump. We've got six bolts, three on each side. And from our what I read on the internets, yes, that's plural, internets. That's what my kid calls it. He calls it the internets, or at least he did when he was little. He said, Daddy, check with the Google. The Google. Anyhow, I check with the Google. And uh, six bolts, but they're different sized. So, uh, made a little template. Like so. For the instructions of the guy on YouTube called Old School Funk, I think. He is the man. Someday I want to be as good as him. So that's that. Alright, very minimal effort to getting the water pump off. Six bolts. Very straightforward. Nothing goofy happened. And uh, I clean up those mating surfaces before I put the new one on, but we're getting closer and closer. Elusive camshaft. So what started all these shenanigans was this right here, which is the water pump. What started my quest of tearing everything apart was the fact that the water pump was leaking. with 185,000 miles on it and I've gone this far I am going to replace it with a new one just because it took me how many hours just to get to this point all right enough about the water pump next to come off is the bottom rock panel down there on the bottom so that we have easier access to the harmonic balancer okay next thing coming off is a secondary pulley it is on the inside of the crankshaft pulley. It goes over the air conditioner compressor pulley. It comes back around and it goes on top of the pulley tensioner. 
and then goes underneath the crankshaft and it comes back around on the crankshaft. Next is the harmonic balancer pulley. Okay, this is the camshaft bolt or the harmonic balancer bolt and it is the hardest bolt I've ever tried to take off in my life. I've already been on it for a couple hours. I tried to use a strap wrench on the pulley. I tried using a breaker bar. I'm not going to try that whole uh, get it jammed in there and try to bump it over with the engine thing. I just don't want to do that. Uh, I've seen on internets, on the internets, on the Google, guys use these. Um, if I can focus it. I am scared to use that because uh, on mine, I got, I don't know, oil and fluids and all sorts of other garbage and stuff like that on there. So I'm scared to, I'm scared to use that. So... So, my solution is the happy medium, which is get heat to it. I'm going to use this heat gun. Let this run for about a minute. And I'll spare you the uh, waiting. Alright, uh, I already hit this once, and I didn't have the camera ready. Because I wasn't expecting much, but it literally came right off. It looked just like this. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> I mean, just like that. So, if you're like me and you got too much oil and stuff like that in this area, oh, ow. Oh, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and cut that. So, if you're like me and you got too much oil and stuff like that on it, the uh, heat gun worked great. Um, also of note is that I was working on this guy last night uh, for a while and uh, I did hit it with penetrating oil on probably two or three different occasions. Uh, obviously it sat uh, overnight with penetrating oil too so not sure how much that had to do with getting her finally off but it's off. Now I can go get the harmonic uh, balancer pulley, pull that off, and uh, get into the timing cover.